Um, I have this text where every single letter is separated and I would like to animate this M and then O, um, H and O with the same way. So first thing, um, I just want to animate this M. I'm going to use a bunch of other scripts for that. So I use the uh, visibility ticket and then um, I will just animate, the, just put here the scale. I will just move it a little bit. This may be something like this. So I go like that and I can use some Bezier for that just to come in some uh, nice way. Um, let's say something like this. Okay. And it will be also good to have some kind of like fade in there. Um, I mean, that would be uh, pretty awesome. So I just, let me just go to, okay, I'll just put here some fade in. So, I have my animation of my letter, and I'm pretty happy with that. I can just go at the beginning of that animation I want to copy, and then I'm gonna select um, everything else, every single other, every other letter. Make sure you going from um, down to up, upwards. Basically, this is the correct direction. So going uh, going upwards. So I select it like this, and I use our copy animation. And now select base animation layer, it's layer zero, that's correct. Offset amount, maybe I'm gonna use three frames. Start, start frame, you, it was that one where I was, but I can also change it. And skip to start frame, I don't wanna skip because this means um, if this should ignore um, the frame one where it's turn off visibility, I wanna the other letters also have on frame one basically turn off visibility and that shouldn't be offset it. So I will uncheck this and accumulate offsets. Yes. Randomize. No. So now as you can see, the animation works and I can all the time. The, the funny thing is I can all the time change it. So if I, if I'm not happy with this animation I'm having here, for example, I want to make it a little bit faster. Um, I can just change the first animation I have and I can make some changes on it. Let's say I'll add some squeeze here and stuff like that. And <clears throat> maybe I just change this to some kind of like line linear, something like this. For example, this is my animation now. Um, and I can again go on the start of first one, select the others. Hit, um, hit colon again, hit OK, and it will be deleted and replaced with a new one automatically. So now you can see it's working again. So I can use also some random mind effect um, when I select again the layers I have in here and I go to copy and then I can go here and randomize offset and now you can see it's kind of randomized in the way. So this is the animation cloner.